What's poppin' everyone? We are back on Showdown today for the next OU Live, of course, with some new heat on the squad. And uh, I'll, I'll get into that in a sec. I just wanted to update you guys on WBE. For the people that are watching, you know, WBE, I uh, just wanted to say that there's no Week 13 match because our opponent, who we were supposed to play, gave us a forfeit win. So we get the win for that. And basically, we get the bye week only if Gator loses the last week. I don't know if that game is up yet or not. But, um, but yeah, if Gator loses... The bye week is ours, and um, yeah, either way we finish the season, the regular season, 12-1, and 1, and so, yeah, it's pretty cool. And let's move on to this, uh, this this team that I have here. I want to show you guys what I got cooking up this time. Uh, we have a per-ugly squad, as suggested from the last OU Live that I did, which was Emolga. Hope you all enjoyed that. And so per-ugly is, um, is an interesting mod, right? It has Defiant. Its speed tier is actually pretty good, base 112. Hits 355, so it is decently fast. It doesn't, it doesn't really hit too hard. It does not really hit too hard at all by itself. But if it has a defog going for it, then it can uh, it can definitely do some damage for sure with Life Orb. So in this slot here, in the last slot, I was running a bunch of stuff. I was running Fake Out. I was running U-Turn. I was running um, some other coverage moves in this in this slot here. But I figured Taunt would be nice because we can shut down certain setup sweepers, certain Pokemon trying to um, go for a hazard move or something. Um, even though we want defogs, we want to switch it in on a defog. We don't want them to like, like for instance, a Skarmory clicking defog is not going to be great for Perugly because Perugly, even at plus two, will do pitiful damage to it. So I have like taunt and stuff for certain scenarios where I think it can come in use. Um, otherwise, it's just three attacks, return, knockoff, stomping tantrum, which I think is pretty useful for hitting Heatran and knocking out that Pokemon doing a lot of damage to Megirna, things like that, basically. Um, and so, yeah, just max attack, max speed. Hopefully, we can see it putting in work here. I paired it with a Mega Deancey for Magic Bounce. Um, you know, when it Mega Evolves, it will get Magic Bounce and a Stealth Rocks as well. So that could be cool. Paired with Webs, I'm running Perugly with Rocks and Webs because I want people to try to defog. I want to try to get Perugly's attack doubled with uh, with the Define ability, which is, which is I guess one of the best ways of using Perugly, I, I think, in my opinion. So, yeah, we have uh, Magic Coat, Sticky Webs, Araquanid with HP Fire to deal with Kartana and stuff. Yeah, any kind of setup Kartana, you know, because this thing is basically setup fodder without it, uh, you know, to Kartana. Then we have Superior, which is uh, the nice classic Choice Scarf set, and it's actually really good, too, with Webs plus uh, Rocks and stuff, because if an opponent goes for a Defog, and if we don't go Perugly, we can easily just get a contrary uh, contrary boost uh, innovation you know with um people going for defog that could be cool um av heatran so i got a nice uh av tran here which can actually you know sponge hits decently well from pokemon and it hits pretty hard i, I used like a different ev spread a long time ago for a set like this but i wanted to run a more offensive set because this is kind of a more offensive team sticky webs and whatnot finally i have a flinium z uh, Lando T, Double Dance Lando T, which I think is great on webs because it can pressure opponents a lot with its, um, you know, offensive capabilities. This is going to be the squad. Let's just get right into it. See how we do with Perugly. I'm hoping that we can see it put in work. I definitely want uh, Perugly to get knockouts in this video. If we can, you know, if we can, then that would be uh, quite phenomenal. So, okay, this guy's team is looking pretty clean, looking pretty clean. He has a Ferrothorn, which I think we got to get rid of um, with some of our Mons. I'll just lead a Raccoonate anyways, I think. I mean, webs are really nice versus him. He does have a Defogger in Crobat. And so, it's a pretty unique one at that. I've used Defog Crobat in OU before. Which is cool, because it can beat stuff like Serp. It can uh, check a lot of things due to its speed. He just leads Tapu Lele. But, like, I could Liquidation... And probably, I don't know, it probably Oko's this thing. It probably does a ton of damage to it. it. It just depends what I value more. And I don't think I really care too much about webs in this matchup, to be honest. Just because if I'm doing more damage to Lele, just because of how, um, you know, Superior can just glare things. So I'm just going to Liquidation. And he goes Ferrothorn, so I'm perfectly fine with that. Going to Magic Coat here. And then get my webs up. I can bounce back seed. Okay, I guess I can bounce back seeds. I'll just webs here now. Is he just gyro balls? Beautiful, beautiful. I'm HP fire is not gonna do much at all. It really won't. 
Bounce it back, bounce it back. Leech Seed has, uh, actually it has 14, so Magic Code can actually beat it 1v1. Got rid of his terrain there. Bounce it back again. Um, this time I'm actually going to go Heatran on the Gyro, potentially. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Force him out, so he'll be forced out here. I'm going to actually double into Diancy. Actually, what do I double into? What would be a good double here? Diancy's a good double. Um... I mean, I could Lava Plume, try to get a burn on something. That could also work too. And he goes Crobat, so that, that kind of works out pretty well. Now, if he defogs here, we could get the boost with Perugly. And go for like a knockoff on something. I'm going to do that. Oh, he just taunts. Okay. That works pretty well. If he decides to defog here, then we, we get to knock out Crobat, basically. And this is his defogger, of course. Everything under webs, too. You know, it's, uh, it's looking kind of nice. So he's going to actually just hard switch into Garchomp. How much damage are we going to do to this? Uh, return does about 44. He's the rough skin Rocky Helmet, so he's probably max HP. I could see that. I could see that. Um, I have to switch out here. I think. Or I could, eh, I could knock as well. I could also go hard Serp. But I definitely want rocks up. No, I could even go uh, Araquanid here, to be honest. He gets up rocks. It's fine. I'll just get my own rocks later on and pressure him a bit more. Goes Ferrothorn here, um, that's okay. I can just um, Magic Coat probably. Bounce back Leech. I'll go Heatran now on this Gyro. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, go for the Lava Plume here, I think is my play. Even Flash Cannon is not bad either, but Lava Plume still hits everything. And he keeps going Crobat, and we burn it too, so that's. Uh, Quite good, actually. I'll flash cannon here. Yep, he turns out too. So whatever he brings in will take a lot of damage. He's not going Pharaoh. So he's going to go Heatran. And that thing, depending on his set, should do a lot. Yeah, that does a lot of damage too. Ooh, okay, okay. And he should be slower than us due to Sticky Webs. So knocked out the Heatran. Now he goes Coma O. I'm going to go Hard Dancy so he doesn't Z immediately. He just close combats. Uh, we take it kind of well. Eh, not really. <laughs> not really too well. But I want to get the Mega off so we can have the Magic Bounce ready. Um, I could also Rocks here. I'm actually going to Rocks here. And then switch out into... Um, into Heatran I think is fine. Even even if he Leech Seeds and predicts the switch out, that's okay. Uh, I don't mind that too much. He, he does Leech Seed here, so that's a good play on his part. Uh, Crobat gets knocked out. Yeah, the Bat's gone. Um... I'm actually going to just double into Landers here. Landers is a good double, I think. As he goes right for the Protect, that's fine. I can SD, can I? I can just SD up here. He literally has like nothing left. Yeah, and he just, ooh, he just does that, okay. And I'm, I'm free to just spam Earthquake now at this point. He has a Sack Crobat. Everything is under webs. Everything should be slower as well. Um, actually... Except a Scarf Lele. Except a Scarf Lele. So, yeah. Let's, uh... Sacro Raquinid here. Now he's a rock and a spike up. Okay. Hmm. He has a rock and a spike. If I defog, I lose webs. Is that bad? Probably if he's the Z-move Como. -O. That could be bad. So, I, I think I kind of have to just play around... All this stuff. Kind of have to play around. I'll go Perugly. I'm going to click Knockoff here. As he goes Garchomp. Get myself knocked out in the process. Oh, that's okay, I guess. It's not too bad. I can try to end game with Heatran. AV Heatran. Well, actually, if I get rid of his faster mons, I could defog. Lately, is going to be faster than everything, though, which is kind of annoying. Go Landers here. Um, Earthquake to knock him out. If he sacks Ferrothorn, that'd be really great too. Oh, he sacks. Wow, why did? Why would he sack this? That's a little confusing to me. <laughs> that's a that's a bit confusing. Now we just Z move this thing. Yeah, and we just win the game. I think now at this point, there's no way he can win. Cause Layla Le could have been faster. Now he goes Pharaoh, we just sack um, 
But we keep let. Uh, we could just attack here, to be honest. Because Garchomp, we have we have enough turns to live everything. All Earthquake for damage should be fine. He Gyro Balls crits me, knocks me out. That's okay. And then uh, we just go Heatran. Lava Plume here. He can't really uh, outplay. Garchomp should get knocked out by the Lava Plume after Rocks, I think. Yeah, definitely. Because we are offensive. Yep, last is going to be Ferrothorn. We could just Lava Plume this, knock him out. That's going to be GG. It is Envy. So, good first game. Uh, we got to see a little bit of Pearl Ugly there. Uh, let's see if we can try to get some Defined boosts. That's what i like to see for sure. If we can get like... Some kind of boost with it. Maybe on a defog or something. Or, on a, or even on an intimidate. Like lander switching in. I've seen a lot of people while testing switching landers to it. That's a common answer. Like, Or people like just think, oh, I'm going to throw in my intimidator on a physical attacker. But it never really works. Uh, he does have a landers, so that could be good. I'm still going to lead a Raccoonade either way because sticky webbing. Well, it's not going to be that great because he has like only two mons really. That can be affected by webs. But webbing Mammoth Swine could be good. He just leads Landorus. I don't know what his rocker is though. But um, yeah, either way I'm going to get webs up. He just rock slides here. Straight up rock slides. He could be scarfed. He could very well be scarfed. I'm going to go into my own Landorus. I'm going to... Uh, well, he has a Zapdos which does wall me. So I'm going to double here into Dancy. Predicting the uh, Zapdos to come in. And, da and Dancy is actually really good. Oh, he goes Pharaoh. I don't know why he did that. But, um. He's not gonna. He's not gonna hazard here because he's afraid of Magic Bounce Protect, I think. So he actually doubles back to the Landris. This thing is definitely scarfed. Um, this thing is definitely scarfed. I'm gonna sack a Raccoonid here. He, is, he goes for the knockoff. Yeah, this thing is definitely scarfed. I go to Dancy. I set up Rocks here. Because he's definitely gonna switch out. Yeah, and he goes Pex. So that works pretty well. I'm just going to... Uh, I'm just going to Earth Power for damage, actually. Earth Powering for damage is pretty good. As it actually is a 2 hit KO, so it's not bad. Scald shouldn't be a 2 hit KO on me. No burn either, which is great. And I'm actually going to double here into... Um, into Heatran, I think, is my play. Double the Heatran as he goes Pharaoh. Lava Plume... Actually, yeah, Lava, uh, Lava Plume is okay. And even if he goes Pex, we get Earth Power the turn after. Like, we get the damage off here. Earth Power should definitely take it out. Though I don't know if he's going to double into uh, Landorus. Yeah, he actually does. So that's okay, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to switch out here. I definitely need Heatran. Yeah, he Earthquakes. Not bad, not bad. Um, we're just going to Swords Dance up as he goes Pex. And then I'm just going to fire up the Z because why not? You know, he's going he's gonna to probably switch out. And we get a, a big hit off of something. Oh, he Baneville Bunkers. Okay. Well, <laughs> I did not know he would have that move on it. It's not It's not as common, to be honest. It's really not as common. So I do lose webs, unfortunately. But if we weaken everything to a point where, you know, we can kind of just win. I think uh, Superior can come through as well. Oh, he would defog here, right? Let's go, uh, let's go Perugly. Are we just hitting powers? Where's his, uh, defogger? Or maybe it's on Landers. Ooh, hold on. Let me return here. We should be faster. And we should take it out. Pex is going to de get destroyed by two of these hits, I think. Oh, that's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. I should have predicted. Ah, I was going to, like, cancel the move, too. I want to I wanna see him go Landers, though. I definitely do. Let me actually knock off the uh, item from Ferrothorn, though. Get rid of this item here. So Zapdos is severely, severely weakened. We got rid of his leftovers as well. I'm going to taunt the Ferrothorn here. I think it's going to be a phenomenal play. To prevent him from uh, getting up hazards. And prevent the Zapdos from roosting as well. Oh, he's a Wiki Berry set. Ooh, interesting, interesting. Very interesting. So Diamond Storm is my play because I want to uh, ensure that, um, you know, 
the damage is done enough for him to get knocked out. And Ferrothorn's leftovers is gone, so he can't really um he can't really do much to this thing. And Webs is gonna be up probably for good. Actually, I don't know if it is gonna be up for good. Well, he's knockoff, rock slide, earthquake. His last has to be U-turn, I think. It has to be. It has to be U-turn. And he, he goes for knockoff. Okay. That is pretty good. I can actually double the Diancy here on the uh if he goes for knock again. Crits me though, but eh, it's alright. Should be fine. Uh Ferrothorn comes back in. This is gonna take some damage from a Moonblast. I wonder if Moonblast plus Earth Power. I actually Earth Power should take it out here. It definitely should. Yeah, Earth Power definitely takes it out. So this thing is gone. Well, Moonblast takes it out as well, but like, I don't know if I want to risk the roll. So I'm, that's why I'm going for Earth Power. Okay, that's this is pretty good. This is actually pretty good. Because now it's looking like we just win with Leaf Storm, Serp. Lando comes back in. So he could Rock Slide again, I guess. I'm going to go uh, Lando. He does U-Turn here. That should be fine, I think. Mammoth Swine's in. Okay, okay. So now this thing, this thing is the threat, though. This thing is the threat. I'm just gonna stay in, you know, because why not? Um, Serp, I think, can definitely take it out with a Leaf Storm. So we're gonna do that and just try to win the game right here and now. Yup, yup. There it is. Um, I'm gonna go off a hunch that he's gonna bring in Lando, but he actually doesn't. I, I guess he's gonna Baneful Bunker with this thing. Which I, I don't think I mind too much. Oh, he's trying to he's trying to regenerate. Nah, I don't think I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work. Though it might. Lando comes in. Yep, this thing is gonna get destroyed now. Gone. We are indeed scarfed. So now he's forced to baneful, but we have five, so we have plenty to win this game yeah excellent excellent last is going to be the tyranitar this thing gets popped as well and that's going to be gg once again yeah that's gone excellent excellent so i, I definitely i definitely think that the um knocking off with uh with perugly and taunting stopping this like is a pretty good utility mon but it can also work as a defiant user that hits decently hard if we get a boost but unfortunately we haven't gotten a boost yet so let's uh let's try again let's try again <laughs> see if we get a boost and um yeah now we have a salazzle squad i feel like i've seen this team before this is like a sub toxic salazzle set i think if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure i lead a raccoon either way as he leads uh, pharaoh i get the magic coat let's pray that he doesn't know about it he just leads seeds okay cool 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 so Gonna magic code again. I got more of these too. I got I got a lot more of these. Ah, <laughs> predicted. <laughs> predicted, predicted. I could save the sash on this too if I wanted to. I'm gonna go heat train here. As he goes Cartana. Okay, this is not too bad. Um I don't know if I live a hit from this thing though. He's under webs. He's under webs. Um I think my play though. I could probably just Lava Plume here, any defog. So Cartana's gone, that was gonna be probably be Scarf Cartana too. So getting getting rid of that is really gonna be really nice for I think the rest of our team. Um he goes Lando T now. Which I think this thing could be rocks, so I'm gonna go Araquanid. He just earthquakes. Okay. So we get back webs. Oh never mind. Never mind, never mind. Maybe I only remember Salazzle, but I didn't remember the rest of his team. Um that's okay, I think. That's okay. So if I go into my own Landris, right? If I go into my own Landris and I click Swords Dance, and then I Rock Polish, do I win the game? That's the question. And he goes, so okay, so he goes for SmackDown. That's not bad at all, I think. Let's Z move this thing to knock it out. 
Get rid of that Landris. Um, we could fly here. I think a plus two should take it out. Oh, it does not. Ooh. It did not take it out. So that thing definitely has defensive EVs in it. It definitely does have defensive EVs. Um, okay, okay. Fair enough. So the only thing is I don't want to get pressure, like pressure stalled by Suicune. I'm going to knock here. Get rid of that Pokemon. So I guess now he'd go into maybe Ferrothorn or Salazzle. He could go Salazzle and then go for a... Oh, he goes for Suicune. Yo, knocking this thing off would be phenomenal though. That'd be kind of phenomenal. Yeah, let's get rid of this item. He goes for a Scald. Yeah, getting rid of Leftovers is absolutely great. Um, and I can just return for damage or I could also Taunt as well. Um, let's see here. I'm just going to Taunt the Suicune. I think that's the play. Go into Serp here. Hit him with the uh, the glare. Glare of the Slazzle, that's phenomenal. Um, he could Toxic though, he could easily just Toxic. So... I think we definitely go Heatran here. So getting this thing glared is nice, because we're going to be faster than it with the rest of our team. And I think we need, we definitely need that for sure. Yeah, and we get, we get him paralyzed too, which is really what we needed there. Knocking off the leftovers from Suicune is going to be great to limit its protect options and he quits. Yeah, so there's no way he could have won now at this point, I think. Um, unless he like <laughs> got double protects, triple protects and whatnot, but yeah, yeah, GG. GG indeed. So, probably I think saved us there for sure with like leftover, with uh, knocking off the leftovers. This guy has a Terrakion. I haven't seen that in a minute. I haven't seen that mod in a minute. Hippo lead, okay, okay. Let me coat. Bounce back rocks. Ooh. Could also just webs too, even. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. I like that a lot. I don't mind this trade-off, to be honest. I can play around rocks, but he's now has to he has, he has to play around rocks and webs here. And now he goes finny, right? Um, so I'm gonna get the defined boost. I'm gonna go off that he's going on going for a defog here. No, he madness is. Why? Why doesn't anybody defog? Maybe it's because he has a spinner or something? I don't know. Maybe he has a spinner. But we're, we're just going to get damage off. Moonblast. Okay. So. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Mega Diancy getting off the Mega would be kind of clean. So I'm going to do that. He just goes Hippo. This thing should get 2 a KO'd by this thing. I'm, I'm pretty sure it gets 2 a KO'd. Nice moon blast. Nice moon blast. I'll go off the. I'll go off the two KO. <laughs> it did fifty one. I ain't. I, I. I ain't worried about risking a roll. So now he goes drill. Um. I guess to rapid spin or something. Yeah, rapid spin. So we get rid of his uh, biggest sand sweeper. Crit didn't matter. This thing is probably offensive anyways. In comes Terrakion. This could be scarfed. The way he brought it in, it could be scarfed Terrakion. So, what do we do? How do we win this game? How do we win this game? So I'm not sure why he didn't go Venusaur, unless he's like Chlorophyll Venusaur with this Charizard, which actually is what it's looking like. It's actually what it's looking like. Yeah, he's not Scarfed. Oh, but he gets the Sand Spadef boost and misses the Stone Edge, which is quite unfortunate. Quite, quite unfortunate. I don't know what to say about that one. Unless he should have run a Z move or something. It, it might have actually been Z Terrakion then, because we were faster than it. It actually might have been Z. Okay, so this guy has Magic Bounce. Hold up, this guy has Magic Bounce. So I'm just gonna Liquidation you. It could be Screens too, actually, so uh, Defog Serp might come in handy. He's gonna just straight up Psychic. This thing should get blown back. Yeah. That works. He's got a pretty, pretty threatening team, though. I must say...
He might be thinking it's like band or something. I'm gonna magic coat the rocks, I think. Oh, okay, rock tomb. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, let's see here. What do we do? Our own rocks are pretty nice too. Though I don't think I can set them up in time. I think my play is to go into... I mean, I guess Lando is fine. I go Lando here, I click Earthquake. I don't see why not. He sets up rocks. Yeah, and sacks this thing. That that works pretty well, I think. Um, let's see what he goes into. He goes Gyarados. So I think I just straight up Z this thing. Because I didn't see Intimidate, so he's definitely like Moxie. With, uh, he, he's, yeah, he's definitely Moxie, so I don't want to play around with that. Crit didn't matter. That, that thing definitely goes a non-Intimidate Gyarados. Uh, Tapu Lele comes in. I have AV Heatran I can go into. Though I, I don't know if I want to save AV on Heatran for Volcarona. <laughs> really? I, I don't know if it did. I mean, Gyarados has like what, 196 defense or something? Like without investment? Because that thing is definitely offensive. There's no way that had bulk. Um... But yeah, I mean, he turns fine. I can glare the uh, drill anyways. He goes Volk straight up. So we're in Ancient Power. <laughs> we got the AV. Let's show him the power of the Ancients. That should like 2 KO, I I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he didn't say anything after that. So I don't know. If I don't think it really mattered. <laughs> but I'll, I mean, you, you, you guys in Cal can let me know. Look at that. Nice Ancient Power. Nice Ancient Power. And we eat the hit up too. Ooh, no boost, unfortunately, though. But nice AV coming through. Um, okay, so now at this point in time, let's just... Sack here, I think, is the play. We now go into our superior. Click glare. Paralyze this thing. And then proceed to winning the game. I think we just sack this thing. Go into our uh, Lando T earthquake will definitely take it out, or almost take it out. But then Mega Dancy's Earth Power will will knock up will knock out Bisharp, I think. Yeah, the Sucker Punch, Dancy comes out, Mega Earth Power takes it out. I'm pretty sure. Um, oh, sashed. Okay. Iron Head's there. Uh, Sucker Punch actually shouldn't take us out. Yeah. And Perugly comes through. Ooh, Perugly comes through in the end there. Not bad at all. Not bad. Perugly eating up a Sucker Punch from Bisharp. I mean, it wasn't Life Orb or anything, granted. But still, still, you, you already know. Perugly coming through. Um, moving on to the next one. What are we at right now? Yeah, let's grab a couple more, for sure. This has been a pretty good one. Where we actually have been... Consistently putting in work with Perugly. So that is what I like to see. So now what do we do? We have a team that has Fortress, which I think is going to be a lead. This team looks really like a really offensive build. Just judging by, he's got the Sand Core, he's got probably the Z Victini, Scarf Lele, and then maybe like Autotomize Steel with Z Move or something. I don't know. It could be like a hazard lead. Fortress. But that's just my like if this was my team, that's what I'd do. I just put like hazard lead this and five threats. Um but yeah. Let's see what he ends up doing here. I'll lead Araquanid, he leads Stila straight up off the bat. Okay, okay. I mean Yeah, this is it's autonomized. Like I said, like I said, you know, like I said. Let me uh, liquidation for some damage here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 I see. I see how it is. That's a problem too. Like, I need that thing. I need that thing. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, whatever. Glare is the glare is the only way now. And then, um, what are we faster than end it with? Probably Heatran.
He probably gets scared and switches though. I needed the damage up so I could have just picked it up with Dancy. I didn't have to risk this speed like thing going on right now. Because he's already times two speed. But I'm just going to go off the fact that he might get scared here and switch out. Yeah, but that, that flinch made it tough. But it, I mean, it's alright. I think webs were crucial though versus his team. We could definitely, like if this thing is gone, we could still win with... Uh, Maybe Lando T. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. Quite unfortunate. But what can you do? Okay, he switches out. Not bad, not bad. Lava Plume is like 8%. Okay. Um, in which case... I guess we just go... We could just go Dancy here. I don't see why not. Oh. <laughs> so this is the Hacks match here, guys. This is the Hacks match. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, now he gets the rapid spin and all that kind of stuff. Ah, because the Moonblast plus the Earth Power would have probably taken it out too. Yeah. No, this is too unfortunate. Still frozen too. Alright, I'll flash cannon here. On the T-Tar. This is an AV T-Tar. Yeah, he, he has Earthquake too. <sighs> Wouldn't have been in this position. Yeah, I just gotta hack him back. Yup, yup. Gotta just hacks you a little bit. I think Zimu should knock him out. Plus two. And he's offensive. Oh, it doesn't? Nice, nice. Yeah, if this Fortress took damage too, we would have been in a much, much better position as well. Knocks out that, okay. Fair enough. Fortress comes out. I have to Earthquake. He just has some rocks. Wait, why? Why would he do that? And he goes back into it? I mean, this takes him out too. And Sand is gone. <laughs> Keep in mind, Sand is gone. How does someone... How does someone so lucky just... Choke the game? Wait, what? How is this even possible? Someone so lucky just choked the game away like that. Good lord. Oh man, all right, whatever. <laughs> I don't know what to think about that. Like that game, we, you saw how unlucky we got, right? You saw how unlucky we got. <laughs> we just won. <laughs> Not bad at all. All right, moving on. Let's grab like a, another one. Let's just let's just grab another one, you know. And now like we got to play some Mega Altaria, which um, I think his team actually <laughs> Kind of suffers from sticky webs, so let me just leave with that. Oh, Mammoth Swine though? Nah, this thing is a this thing is a problem. I'm gonna just attack you. And he wasn't even sashed either. <laughs> he wasn't even sashed. Um, okay. I don't even think I need webs anymore. Like, I don't even need them. There's liquidation again. Yeah, get damage off. Get get that damage off there. He's gonna hurricane here, so I'm gonna go into Dancy. Dodge the hurricane. Wouldn't have done much anyways. I think, and I can just uh, fire off the Moonblast as he goes Guard Chomp and sacks that. Okay, interesting, interesting. Very interesting. This thing is not Scarfed. <laughs> Get that out of here. Nah. Alright, Slowbro is in. Uh, this thing is a problem though. 
So yeah, and he knew it was a problem, so he had to he had to flee from the game there. Quick one to uh to get there. Let's grab another, of course. Not bad at all. We're, we're, we're putting in work with this team. We're definitely... And Perugly is doing a lot of work, too. Perugly is doing a lot of work. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Let's see if we get a game. Uh, Mega Glade Squad here. Okay, so... Mega Glade... It's a big of a threat. It's a, it's a bit of a threat. Webs are kind of looking nice, as always. Uh, this is probably Defog Rotom. And I think that'll be a great way to see if we can, uh, you know, get Perugly uh, with the Defiant. Oh, he just... Okay. <laughs> so we're just doing... So we're just rocking T-Wave Rotom out here. Good old T-Wave Rotom. So I guess that's good that he has no Will-O-Wisp, at least. So we got Webs up. That's good. That's good. Um... I could magic code here to bounce back, or I could just damage this thing. What do I value more? Um, probably magic coding to bounce this thing back. Ah, uh, but he U-turns. Okay, okay. Not too bad, not too bad. Back into Rotom he goes. Now, at least, let's get a chance to activate the Define ability on Perugly. And there we go. There we absolutely go. So, uh, let's hit this up. Good damage. He activates his berry. I guess I should have knocked off first, but I thought I would just blow this thing back. Unfortunately, it did not. <laughs> Unfortunately, it did not work that way. But, um, we'll get to see some damage on this. And if this thing is AV, we knock it out with Stomping Tantrum. We, we should knock this out with Stomping Tantrum. Yeah, we're, we're faster if it's AV. And I think he actually might be, because... We're 526 attack, life orb, stab, or turn. That did that much. I right, doubles back. Okay, okay. Um, Should have returned again then. But we got some good chip off. Popped his berry too. Alright, in comes Tapu Lele. We got AV Heatran for that thing. We got... A good old AV heat trend for that. Can probably just flash cannon, chip down, chip down his mons and whatnot. And he's just side shock, so this thing should get blown back. Oh, he lives. Okay, barely lives. I'm just going to attack him again. Hit him with the lava plume this time. Get a little bit more damage, because damage is indeed damage. And, uh, yeah, just go here into, uh, Raquinid. On his T-Wave, uh, then Serp on the Volt. Into, uh, probably, he'd probably go Magirna, I think. He'd probably go Magirna. Yeah, there's Magirna. In which case, we gotta play around this thing a little bit. Um, I need to get up rocks. I think rocks are gonna be really nice. Just gotta find the opportune moment to do that. I go Dancy here. As he's probably gonna go hard Rotom. So, we're gonna switch out. Yup, yup, there's Rotom. Pop with the Moonblast. Knock him out. So that's the defogger. Dancy speed ties Gallade. Magirna comes in here. I'm gonna rocks. I'm gonna rocks right now. He's not flash cannoning. Yeah, he's vol switching. <laughs> he's predicting Heatran. <laughs> nice, we got the rocks up. So Tapulele, that means Tapulele is gone. Which is absolutely phenomenal. Um, that also means Lando gets chipped. That's really nice. He goes Gallade here. I mean, <laughs> I'm ready to win a speed tie real quick. There it is. <laughs> you already know I'm going for that. I'm not trying to switch out or anything versus Mega Gallade. That thing's a threat. I'd rather win the 50. McGinnis back. Uh, we're going now. He's now he's probably just gonna stay in. Like 
We're going Heatran. Definitely going Heatran on this thing. I see Iron Heads, yup. We can we can plume this now. Get some damage off as he sacks Lele. That is fine. We have Scarf Superior in the back or in the middle to check any kind of uh, Scarf or speed boosting Kartana at plus one and then yeah. Should be good to go. Should win this game. Our own Landers can easily come through versus his last three mons. Let me start a timer. What's this guy doing? It's another of these uh, people waiting for the for, for what to do. Actually, yeah, let's... Uh, okay, so I don't know what set he is. I know he's U-turn. I know he can easily U-turn, but... I think the safe play is going Landers. It's kind of safe. It's a, it's, a, it's a little bit safe, you know? A little bit safe. Um, going to click Swords Dance here. Yeah, I think I seize the play. As the U turns out, okay, so that's actually, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. So he does go Kartana. I don't know what set his Kartana is going to be, but we have to sack Araquanid, I think. I don't know if we live a hit. Actually, if this thing is Scarf, we should live a hit. Yeah, and I can just Quake. Yeah, we live. Nice, and we just win the game. So that will be GG. Plus one Lando should get destroyed by the Sky Strike. I think. Yup, beautiful. Last is gonna be Magirna. That's gonna be game, so. That's going to be it for this one, I think. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope you all enjoyed Perugly. Uh, we got to see a bit of it, actually, in this live. Not too many Defiant Boosts as much as I wanted. I think people are a little bit smarter <laughs> around uh, Defiant users. But um, either way, I think it still put in work. It was able to knock off a bunch of stuff, click return on a bunch of things, do a bunch of damage here and there, provide some team support. So, um, so yeah, feel free to suggest much what you might want to see on the next video because I always enjoy using your suggestions for Pokemon and yeah that's gonna be that I'll see you guys on the next one looking forward to hearing from you all and peace